Hey guys, Daniel with All About Food here. <clears throat> I had a friend give me a big box of tons of celery. Now some of it's starting to go bad, so <clears throat> I'll take the bad parts and get rid of those. But uh, I've also got a couple butternut squash here. What I'm going to do with the majority of this probably all of the celery I think is we're going to dehydrate it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this and take all the bad pieces of celery um, out I'm going to wash it up get it chopped and everything and then once I get that done we will be back to show you the next steps in dehydrating it I've got the first batch of uh, celery all diced up and we're going to bring it over here and we're going to put it in boiling water. I've got a couple different pans going right now. Um, once your water comes to a boil, we're going to put it in there, let it come back up to a boil, and we're going to let it boil for three minutes to blanch it, and then we'll take it out of this. Um, I've still got a lot more celery to get chopped up and blanched. So once we get through blanching all the celery and everything we're ready to get it in the dehydrator we will be back we've got one of our pots of boiling water ready and I've added a little bit of baking soda to this water sorry the lighting is terrible on this phone <clears throat> what I'm going to do now the reason why they say to add some baking soda to help the vegetables turn even greener, I guess. Most of the time I don't add that, but this time I thought, well, I'll just see if it actually works. I don't care how green they are. I know it's good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this come back up to a boil. Once it gets back up to a boil, we will boil it for three minutes, and then we'll take it out. Okay, our celery has been in the boiling water for three minutes to blanch so all we're going to do is <clears throat> we're just going to turn our heat off we're going to drain this and then we're going to get it on our dehydrator tray this one right here is about to overflow this is the one I had put um, the baking soda in it does look like it made it a little bit brighter. Green, so. All right, we're just going to get these drained. I'm going to rinse them with cold water, and then we're going to get them right over here onto our dehydrator trays. Okay, we've got all of our cut up blanched celery on our dehydrator. I've got five trays here. I do need to get me some more trays so I can expand. Um, I have the Nesco American Harvest Food Dehydrator and Jerky Maker. I've looked in the book and I cannot see where it says how many trays it expands to. So if any of you have this dehydrator and know how many trays I can expand it to, someone let me know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our lid on our dehydrator. We're going to get it plugged in sure it's set to 135 degrees and um, it's going to take between 3 and 10 hours uh, we'll check it back and I, I'm sure it's going to take more than 3 hours because some of the trays are a lot more full than what this top tray was that I showed you um, and I tried not to get them, you know, you want it as thin as possible so you can have as much airflow. But what I'll do is I'll change these trays around in a few hours and <clears throat> kind of move the celery around so it all dries evenly. Generally with this one, since I've gotten this dehydrator, which I absolutely love, I do not even have to change the trays around. I don't have to move the stuff around, nothing. I mean, this model is fabulous. I love it. So, we'll be back whenever this is done. Alright, our celery has been dehydrating for about nine hours. It probably would have been, I mean, it's completely done now, but it probably would have been done a lot sooner. However, I completely forgot I had the dehydrator on. 
So, um, as you can see, I mean, it, you know, dries up to really, really small pieces. We have five dehydrator trays, and um, we'll get this uh, put in a jar, and I'll show you how much you get from five trays. All right, as you can see, we've got five trays of celery <clears throat> here, and I think it equaled to, I can't remember how many um, bunches of celery it was. I want to say it was five or six. Um, I've still got quite a bit more to do, but I mean, of course, you know, it does not look like a lot once it dehydrates down, but it doesn't take a whole lot whenever you're throwing this in soups and stuff. I like to make a lot of things in the crock pot, so I'll just take dehydrated stuff and just throw it in the crock pot with my tomato juice, chicken stock, whatever I'm using to make soups and stuff out of, and it, it turns out really well. So, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoy.